Hello, 3D printing friends. Is your extruder not working? Is your nozzle clogged? Is your hot end clogged? Is your heat break causing a problem? The filament just won't come out, or it's flowing poorly, or it's totally clogged and you just cannot unclog it. What if your Bowden tube is trash? Bowden tubes are plastic and without an all metal or bimetal heat break. The Bowden tube goes way down to the nozzle, which is very hot. And did you know it could melt or scorch or soften and fuse itself to your filament? You bet it could, and it looks like this. Oh yeah, look at that. This is filament that is literally fused to scorched Bowden tube. See how it's black and burnt and melted? This whole tube is compromised. It's no good, especially the end. You might be able to cut it off and reuse it, but I wouldn't, especially because it's cheap junk to begin with. But you can see the end is now melted and deformed and your filament is not passing through it smoothly or it's actually melted and stuck to it. What's the solution? Creality Capricorn PTFE Bowden tube. These are made with superior material and with extremely precise internal diameters because the internal diameter is very important to the free and proper movement of your filament through the tube. When the internal diameter is inaccurate, such as with this junk stock tube that comes with your printer, it could be too big or too small or even vary in size, causing the filament to bind or jam up and prevent it from sliding along this tube properly. So this tube is made with better material, it's much smoother, and it's made with an extremely precise internal diameter all the way through for correct movement of your filament. It also comes with these handy little scissors. You would think these things are probably junk and not gonna get the job done, but surprise, they sure do. So there it is, your Creality PTFE Capricorn Bowden tube. It comes in a package that looks like this. I will leave a link in the description. Please use it. It helps the channel. It's much better than the stock junk that came with your printer. And it just might be the reason your filament is not flowing as you expect it to from your printer. Let me know if you've experienced any issues with your Bowden tube and if you've upgraded to a Bowden tube such as this and the results you had in the comments below and I'll see you there. So for now, you're here on YouTube printing with Greg Adventure. I'm Greg and this upgraded Bowden tube is today's adventure.